Hello everybody. In this uh, problem here, we are looking for the turnover number of an enzyme. And the turnover number is basically the number of molecules of substrate that one molecule of enzyme can actually convert into a product. And we've got our enzyme reaction here, we've got all the information, so we use 4 microliter of our stock solution of the enzyme. Uh, we have a total volume of 3 milliliter in which we do the uh, reaction and we finally find a Vmax of 90 millimolar per minute. And we also know the uh, molecular mass of the enzyme, which is 30,000 gram per mole. Now when we work with enzymes, we very often have only the relative molecular mass. So in this case, the relative molecular mass would be given as 30 kilodalton, which equates to 30,000 Dalton, which is exactly the same as 30,000 gram per mole. So let's remind ourselves how we calculate the uh, turnover number of an enzyme. We know that uh, Vmax is defined as the total enzyme concentration, that's the total enzyme concentration, times the rate constant from the enzyme substrate complex to the product, and usually this is given as or as known as K cat, the catalytic constant. And this is actually what we are looking for. This is our turnover number. So all we really need to do is we can uh, easily rearrange this equation and get K cat. So K cat turnover number is V max divided by the enzyme concentration. And we already have V max, so we just need to calculate our total enzyme concentration. Now we know that we have a certain amount of um, grams in our three milliliter. So we can easily calculate that. So we can say the grams of enzyme of enzyme in three milliliter. This would be 5 times 10 to the minus 3 grams, that's this number here, that's the milligrams, the 10 to the minus 3, divided by milliliter, 1 times 10 to the minus 3 liter. Conveniently, the 10 to the minus 3 cancels out. And we use 4 microliters of that, so we have 4 times 10 to the minus 6 liters. We can see the liters cancel out and therefore we have 5 times 4 times 10 to the minus 6 that gives us 20 times 10 to the minus 6 gram in 3 times 10 to the minus 3 liters. So that was here our total volume of the reaction. So we have this. Now we need to convert this gram per liter into mole per liter for the enzyme concentration. And that's uh, quite easy to do. So we have 20 times 10 to the minus 6 gram in 3 times 10 to the minus 3 liters, we need to get, we need to replace the grams with moles. And here the easiest way is we divide this by the uh, molecular mass. So we would write this as mole per 30,000 gram. What we see is that the grams cancel out and we've got the unit mole per liter back. So what we need to do is we need to calculate what is 
uh, 20 times 10 to the minus 6 divided by 3 times 10 to the minus 3 divided by 30,000. And if we put that in a calculator, we would get something like 2.2 times 10 to the minus 7 mole per liter. So that is our enzyme concentration. Here is our enzyme concentration. And we have this one. We know Vmax and all we need to do is put that together. So we have Kcat equals, and that was 90 millimolar per minute. So we have 90 times 10 to the minus 3 mole, molar per minute divided by 2.2 times 10 to the minus 7 molar. Lo and behold, the molars cancel out and we have the unit 1 over minute left. All we need to do is calculate 90 times 10 to the minus 3 divided by 2.2 times 10 to the minus 7. And if we do that, we will get something uh, along the line of roughly 405 thousand minute to the minus one or per minute. So this means our enzyme, each molecule of enzyme can convert 405,000 molecules of substrate into a product. So this is how you can calculate the uh, turnover number of an enzyme the crucial bit is that you convert the amount of enzyme that you use in your, uh, in your assay into a concentration. And I hope uh, with this video you should not find it too difficult to do that. Thank you very much for watching.